three, two, one. All right. Hi folks, and welcome back to another video. Now, since the last video, I have made it my mission to go out and go touch some grass. However, as I have been finding out over the past few months, um, there, it is quite a long way for me to achieve my noble cause. No, seriously, um, the biggest public part that I want to go to is two miles that way. Which is close, but it's a bit too far for me to walk there and feel comfortable about it, while simultaneously being too close for me to be bothered fumbling with a bike and be worrying about it being stolen whenever I put it uh, near the park. And what is the point of doing exercise to get to a place where then you can do even more exercise? So, uh, alternatively, what I have decided to do over the past couple of weeks is to take up an offer from JLCMC where they sent me some of the stuff that in on their online store for free in exchange for them to be featured in at least one video. And thus, in the background of the Miss Changer project that is now in beta, I have decided to design this thing here, which is called a mechanism wheel. And the idea behind this is that I want to make four of these and put them onto a DIY boosted board, which will get me to that part without breaking a sweat. These wheels are going to allow me to do some fancy maneuver with my uh, DIY boosted board, and uh, well, assuming that they work, and that is a big assumption because there is a full list of problem that can kill or at least significantly delay this whole project. And that is why I want to give a big shout out to JLCMC because they had made quite a big of a gamble with this agreement. As if the test that I going to do today failed, then this project is basically dead on arrival. And they would have sent out 145 uh, dollar worth of stuff for this one video on this channel that is not even big enough to be monetized yet. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Before anything can be done, we need to start with some scribbling. Now, looking at these uh, chicken scratch here, the first thing you may notice is that there are a lot of arrows. Okay, nice. But then, there are also a lot of question marks. And they will only need to be sorted by the end of the project. Nevertheless, for the purpose of this video and the initial test that I'm going to do, I'll be tackling these two in specifically. Starting with the question of how big these wheels is supposed to be. And as someone who is not familiar with the skateboarding scene, uh, this turned out to be quite a challenging question to be answered. And part of it is due to the design of the mechanism wheel itself. That is best illustrated through this symbol cat model here, where the circle in the center represents the diameter of the wheel that we want to achieve, and the pin poking out at a 45 degree angle there are the roller axis for the rollers at the edge of the wheel. Right away, you can tell that the big problem that we're dealing with is that the, the spacing of the pins spread out the further you, way, or you are away from the center of those pins. Then, if I switch to a more frontal view here, we can now also see that the spread effectively linked the width and the diameter of the wheels together. So, for example, if we want the wheel to have a specific width such that it can have an appropriate amount of friction to the ground, then in turn that will dictate the diameter of the wheels. In addition to that, looking at from the side now, with only one of those pins in place, we can clearly see another problem that needs to be addressed in the design, which is the roller need to have this curve profile here that emulate the curvature of the wheels and it spins on its own axis. And this is a huge driver in in trying to push towards a bigger wheel, because a bigger the wheel diameter is, the less dramatic the curvature uh, on the roller need to be, which will in turn allow the diameter of the roller at the end here to be thicker and thus take longer to wear down to the core. And uh, with all that influence on me, 
uh, it's not surprising that this is what I have for the first prototype and as you can see this thing is huge it's 152 millimeter in diameter and on it there is room for 12 roller around here here it's a sample of a roller to make sure that this roller can spin smoothly while still have a soft exterior to grip the, onto the ground I had designed this to, to have a TPU outer shell with a ABS core that would then accept one of these 5mm sleeve from JLCMC and they just gonna be slotted in like that and through that the pins that will hold it in place will be will go something like that and they're gonna be mounted to the roll uh, to the rim of the wheels like so but not let's get too far ahead of ourselves here because we still need to do with this thing here and I mean it looked great on its own and so does the other half that I have made but only when I put these together that the reality of how thick this whole thing is going to be actually hit me then compounding to that is this metal gear here which is what I was planning to use to drive this thing it is another thing that uh, JLCMC had sent me and it's a pretty nice and high quality timing gear with that said the moment I pick this up I immediately get second thought for you see together with these two half of the wheel uh, they came out close to a kilo in weight and that is without the roller the bearings and the associated metal bit that attach the rollers to these uh, uh, rims and don't forget I need four of these each of them will have their own motor with then or mounted to two trucks that will then attach to a main body which contain the batteries for the system ultimately uh, we can then start to see that bigger wheels are heavy need bigger motors and bigger battery to drive them all of that will then contribute to a much more expensive uh, project than I thought it would uh, be and overall we can estimate now that the finished board if we were to go along with this uh, design will weight around 10 kilo or so which is around the same weight as a normal bike and that's okay but if I want something as unwieldy for these uh, noodle arms as a normal bike, I would just use the bike. And therefore, we need a change of plan. And the first thing that I'm gonna need to do is to go with this thing here, which is a much, much smaller wheel. And this thing is only about 100 millimeter in diameter. Secondly, I'll be trying to make do with this 3D printed gear for now But as a backup, uh, this gear is actually modeled with the specification of a aluminum one that are available uh, on JLCMC store So if ever I ever need it, I can always swap this plastic gear out for a real aluminum one Anyway, that is enough talking uh, let's do a little bit of montage of me putting the second one of these together.
Oh, shit. Right, for those who don't, are not in the know, these roller on a mechanism wheel need to be mirror each other on the two wheel are opposing to each other. So right now you see they're all pointing up the same way. That is not correct. This needs to be a mirror uh, up to this. So they will need to be pointing inward. And we need four of them to uh, make, the, uh, make use of the mechanism uh, wheel system. Good thing these are just prototypes, and I have to correct that later on. Before we move on, some of you may have some questions, and most of which should be somewhere along the line of, is that a hand file that I was using to cut the rods? Why? Well, yes, it was a hand file, and for a simple reason, that is. I don't have any other tools in my humble HMO here that can actually cut metals. And in fact, these rods actually destroy four of the blade that I have for that saw uh, that I used early in the section there. So uh, yeah, I just have to work with what I have. Which is also why we got this abomination here, where I can barely cut this uh, 8mm stainless steel rod to length and um, well, pretty much nothing else and everything else needs to be strapped to it using a rope that you can see or all around there and as to what this thing is well as I had alluded to at the beginning of the video there is an extremely important test that need to be done before anything else go uh, further for this project and that is to see if these 3d printed plastic wheels can be actually be used at wheels Three, two, one. Well, that's the sound. anti -climatic. It didn't break. Oh, that's good. Not even a scratch. Nice. All right, that is actually some pretty good result. Nevertheless, we're not out of the wood yet because being able to hold my weight in a static position does not mean that these wheel can do so while bouncing around on a road. And if nothing else, I still need to learn and equip myself with the ability to process metal components. Needless to say, it's gonna take a while before anything tangible come out of this new project. With that, the final topic that I want to discuss is uh, what kind of project this is supposed to be. Now, I am fully intended to uh, open source this project, and partly because I do not see commercial viability of something uh, like this. The electric skateboard industry is already kind of niche uh, on its own, so adding the complexity of a mechanism wheel is just going to make the price go up. Then there's also the legal challenge. These uh, electric skateboard is technically illegal here in the UK. So uh, yeah, can build a business around that. And with all of that, uh, if I can't make any money out of it, might as well just give it away. With that said, for this mechanism project, I will not be going at my own pace on this. And that is to say, things will be released whenever they are ready, not on in any deadline or anything like that. Uh, and even when they are released, don't expect much 
in terms of uh, documentation and timely support as the uh, much as the mischanger project has been enjoyed. The simple reason for that is I simply do not have the time and capacity to uh, support both projects simultaneously. As mischanger is the uh, primary project I'm working on right now that takes precedent over everything else. So if there is some sort of bug or uh, er uh, opting that need to be fixed on mixture side, I would drop work on this project specifically to um, move to that. And uh, yeah, if you like the sound of that, then make sure to like and subscribe and so that you can uh, get notification on the next video. Special thanks to JLCMC. They were well aware that, that this could all end it with this video. However, they had decided to go with it anyway. I'm pretty happy with what they have sent me and I am fully intended to continue this project using part that is available on their store. And for that, I will also include the link to their store below. Uh, with that, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.